Well, hello everyone, welcome to another video. It is me, Desiree, and it is that time of year again. Sephora has put out their yearly bag of sunscreens. I've purchased this a few times over the years, and I love it. I pretty much enjoy it every single time. I didn't buy it last year or the year before. Did I buy it the year before? I don't think so. Because um, sometimes there's a lot of sunscreens in here that I already have or that I've already tried or that I'm not interested in. But this year, the second I saw it hit the website, I had to get it. So it retails for $39. Um, you get 14 sunscreens in here, two of them being full size, and the rest are like travel sizes. But I was actually kind of shocked at how big they were. Cause sometimes they give you those little tiny, like 100 point perk size sunscreens. But this one was really good. I opened it up and I actually was like, <gasps> Wow, this was a good one. And the reason I jumped on this one is because the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream SPF 30 is on my Sephora loves list. Like that was one of the sunscreens I wanted to try this year and it comes in the bag in a full size. So that one alone retails, I wrote it down, retails for $38. So this one right here, $38 and the bag is $39. So if I was gonna buy this anyway, why not get the whole set and get the opportunity to try all these other brands sunscreens. So. I'm gonna open this up. I'm gonna open all of the sunscreens and swatch them all and like just describe the texture, the white cast if there's any, the scent, all that kind of stuff. So it comes in the cutest bag and the moment I opened this, I was like, oh, I wanna stuff this full of makeup. What is that? Like putting makeup in a makeup bag and like rummaging around in it. There's something just like, like fun about that. And right when I saw this, I thought I gotta fill this thing up. So it does open pretty wide. Um, and I do like this bag. In previous years, they've been made of, um, I don't remember the name of the, the fabric. It's like that same fabric that uh, like wet suits are made out of, or like a bag that you would buy to put in a wet bathing suit. That, what's that? You know, this one. <laughs> Uh, but this one feels like it's made of like a plastic kind of waterproof material. But there's all your sunscreens. So let's just dig in. So the first one here is from St. Jane, the Luxury Sun Ritual Pore Smoothing SPF 30. So some of these are going to be made for the face and some of them are for the body. I intend to use all the ones I really like on my face and the ones I don't I use on my hands and my arms and like stuff like that when I'm driving around or whatever. Uh, this is SPF 30. It's got desert rose, jasmine, and hibiscus. One thing I forgot to mention, the price. Okay, they say it retails for $39, but it says the retail value is $235. I mean, they could have put, it's the retail value is $5,000 and I don't necessarily feel like I'm getting $235 worth of sunscreen in this bag, but the retail value, I don't really think matters at all. The value, like, what kind of value do you think it has? If you're gonna use all of these, then yes, it had a great value. But if you end up like not liking a lot or the textures are right for you, they break you out, stuff like that, then it doesn't have a $235 value. You know what I mean? Anyway, back to the sunscreen. I've actually never tried anything from this brand, but it looks really, really cool. And I think this is a pretty good size sunscreen for not being full size. This is 0.85, so almost a full ounce, 25 milliliters. And I am going to open all of these because I do intend to use all of these this year. Uh, not necessarily will I use all of them up, but I love sunscreen. I use it every day. Uh, and although you should be using it every day all year round, I like that they do put this out during the summer because that's like the UV index is the highest. And it's definitely when most people feel like they should be wearing sunscreen or outside a lot more, you know. Oh, this one has like a tint to it. A little bit of a tint. Nothing too crazy. No scent. So I love that sunscreens are kind of getting away from that sunscreen scent, the banana boat scent. This doesn't smell like anything at all and it has no white cast. This feels really, really lovely. It does feel like a primer though because it does say pore smoothing and you know, before, before I even remember that it was a primer, it feels like a primer. It feels like, um, I don't know, if you've used a pore smoothing primer before and it has that silicone kind of soft feeling, this has that in a very light way. It doesn't feel like silicone at all. Um, I'm going to assume, oh, 
This is a mineral sunscreen. I was just going to say, I'm going to assume that most of these are going to be chemical sunscreens because usually mineral sunscreens have some sort of white cast and in order to make this like going to work for all skin tones, they got to go with chemical sunscreens. I assumed this was a chemical sunscreen, just how great it feels. It's a mineral. So it's vegan, clean, reef safe, and mineral, non-nano zinc oxide 10%. I can't believe it. That had no white cast and it felt amazing. I can't wait to use this on my skin. I, I'm excited for that one. You do get a little sample supplement in here from Hum Nutrition. This is the Here Comes the Sun D3, high potency vitamin D3 vegan soft gels. I actually take this vitamin from Hum Nutrition. I've been taking it for the last, I think since November. Uh, I really like it. Uh, and I think since I wear a lot of sunscreen all the time, um, I think it's kind of important to take a D3 supplement. I also feel like it helps with just your overall mental health, especially during the winter. I love this supplement a lot, um, so I think it's cool that it's in there. Because when I first tried Home Nutrition, I found them from a uh, sample, so there you go. Uh, next up is Dr. Dennis Gross, all physical, lightweight, wrinkle defense, broad spectrum SPF 30. So if it says all physical, I'm going to assume that's a mineral sunscreen because usually mineral sunscreens are called physical sunscreens. Um, it doesn't have the ingredients on the, oh yeah, zinc oxide, 16%. So yeah, another mineral sunscreen. That's kind of cool that they're putting a mix in here. And look how big this one is. Doesn't this one look like a full size, but it's not. This is another one ounce, 30 milliliter size. Like that's a really good like travel size. You know what I mean? I was going to say, ooh, look at this packaging. How <laughs> funny. Didn't even show you it. I was just so excited about how big it was. I've tried a few things from Dr. Dennis Gross and I like the brand, but I never went out of my way to buy anything in a full size. Oh, this one's a lot thinner, like a little bit more of a fluid type of sunscreen. Mineral, so I'm expecting a little white cast. And you can see a white cast there. Sometimes with me, I find after a little bit, like 30 minutes or so, the white cast definitely tones down, especially if you're putting makeup on. Uh, but sometimes the white cast is so bad that putting makeup on just looks awful because you're trying to use the colors you normally use on top of your skin that now has a white veil on it. But so far, I mean, the white cast doesn't look too bad, but of course that's just on my hand. I'll have to try this on my face. Tiny, tiny bit of sunscreen scent, but nothing too crazy. It doesn't smell like it has perfume in it and it feels really good. That feels really good. Mineral sunscreen has come a long way, you know? Next up, Murad Environmental Shield Essential C Day Moisture Broad Spectrum SPF 30 PA4 Pluses. This is a chemical sunscreen and this is 0.8 fluid ounces. So there is that bottle there. And my nail, if any of you have been following my videos, I smashed my nail and it's still growing out. Um, I'm going to try not to swatch anything on this side so you don't have to look at it, but just think of it as like nail art. Like I put a little bit of nail polish on, but that one's my accent nail now. So what are you going to do? It's going to be there all month, probably longer than that. Oh, this one has a fruity scent. Not too, not sunscreeny, just fruity. Feels nice. Ooh, feels nice and smells nice. I love a chemical sunscreen though. That's definitely my favorite. Ooh, I like that one. That one feels really nice. So far, the three that I've tried, none of them feel dry or like they're going to dry down powdery, like that kind of, you know, that way that sunscreen is dry sometimes, especially minerals. That one feels nice. This hand is going to be very well protected from the sun. This is one I have tried before. It's so good. It's from Biosense. It's their Squalane and Zinc Sheer Mineral Sunscreen. So I actually didn't know this was a mineral sunscreen for the longest time because it's that good. Um, it's SPF 30, UVA, UVB rays, UV rays. Okay. It's <laughs> broad spectrum, SPF 30, UVA and UVB. PA three pluses and yeah, it's a mineral sunscreen. I went actually to go buy this in a full size, but it was kind of very expensive for the size that you get. So I was at Sephora looking at it and I was like, oh no, I can't, I can't get it. Oh uh, no. Okay. This side has a cut on it. Then I have my nail and if I'm swatching here with my cut and my nail, it'll be a whole thing. So we're going to do all the swatches on the same side. And this one is super moisturizing. Like this is one you could easily use as 
uh, your moisturizer. I really, really like this. It feels so, so lovely. Am I sensing a white cast or is that just the camera? I don't remember a white cast on this before. I don't know. Let me know what you think. I don't think it's a white cast, but also I've had, this is the fourth sunscreen I'm putting on my skin. Hmm. I don't know. I don't think there's a white cast. I don't remember one in the past. It's really good. It, it's super moisturizing. It makes your skin just feel really juicy and hydrated. I really like that one a lot. One day I will buy it in a full size. This one here from K-Skin I actually just got. I don't remember if this was a free gift with purchase or if I paid 100 points for it, but I haven't used it yet. But there was another one in the bag. It's the K-Skin uh, Isle Glow Face Lotion SPF 45 Broad Spectrum Sunscreen. And this is a chemical sunscreen, just a little squeezy tube. This one is... 0.34 fluid ounces. Oh, it's a little bit tinted. Tiny bit tinted. A little bit of a floral, no, what is that, fruity? Little fruity pebbles scent. Ooh, ooh, I'm just gonna say that about all of them. That feels awesome too. So far, all hits. I can't wait to use all of these on my face. That one felt really good. This is one here that I have had in the past from Peter Thomas Roth, the Water Drench Broad Spectrum SPF 45 Hyaluronic Cloud Moisturizer. I'm not going to swatch this one because the one that I have, I have tried to use on my face and it has a very strong sunscreen scent. And unless some of the ones I haven't tried have it, I don't really want to smell that smell right now. I have a little bit of a headache and I just know that scent is just going to make it worse. Um, this is a very moisturizing sunscreen. It's a moisturizer that has sunscreen in it, I guess. Um, it's UVA, UVB, cream to water, invisible finish, um, and it is a chemical sunscreen. It's a half, no, five milliliter, 0.17 fluid ounces. So it's a little one here, but I did get a lot of uses out of the one that I currently have now. Very sheer, very light, very nice on the skin, but it has a sunscreen scent. You know what? I gotta swatch it. I gotta swatch it. I can't feel it. I feel like I can't just skip out on it because I'll wash my hands afterwards. It's fine. Maybe they changed it. Who knows? And it's in an airless pump, which I love. Ooh, there we go. Just gonna do a little. Hmm. Let's do a little bit more. You know what? I'm not smelling the sunscreen smell. I'm actually smelling absolutely nothing, but it's super, super lightweight. If there are any sunscreens in here that are gonna be the closest to like a really airy, essence -y type of Korean sunscreen, I feel like it's probably this one. Super, super lightweight on the skin. Uh, moisturizing, but light, and I don't know why I'm not smelling a sunscreen scent, because the one I have, I feel like it's very strongly scented. Who knows? This, I'm super excited to try this one. This is from Josie Merritt. It's the Get Even Sun Milk SPF 33. This is a mineral sunscreen. It's got Kakudu Super Fruit Blend and Sheer Argan Hydration. Uh, mineral sunscreen, and it's in a glass bottle. Look how cute. This is another half ounce, 15 milliliters. I'm gonna have to start swatching on my other hand. I'm sorry. You're just gonna have to look at my nail. My nail art. It's nail art. Oh my gosh. Oh, it smells nice. This smells like a, like a sour candy. Not like it's bad, like it's gone sour. Just like a fruity peach candy or something like that. I feel like this, the word sour kind of makes it sound bad. This is so thin. Oh my goodness, for a mineral sunscreen, I'm like kind of in disbelief. This feels like an essence. This is the one that feels the closest to a Korean sunscreen. Oh my goodness. I don't see any white cast. This feels so good. A little bit on the oily side, but I bet it has like a lot of good stuff for your skin in it. Like it's a skincare sunscreen. Definitely use this one on your face. <gasps> oh my goodness. I, this, okay, so far, this is a top contender right there, especially for a mineral sunscreen. Oh my goodness. That feels amazing. Literally no white cast. I'll have to try it on my face, of course. Nice scent that's already fading, so that's good too. Okay, okay, that's a top contender right there. That one and 
Okay, just that one. I'm excited to try the other ones, but that is a standout right there. Look at this tiny one. So this little tiny tube, this is what they did one of the previous years. This is what they were sending, these tiny little tubes like this, and it was so disappointing, so I didn't buy one the next year or two. Uh, this is from Summer Fridays. It's the Shade Drops Broad Spectrum SPF 30 Mineral Sunscreen Milk. It's a little tiny, teeny tiny little tube, uh, five milliliters, uh, zinc oxide, so this is a mineral sunscreen. Um, so as you can see, like from what they were sending previously like this to these bigger bottles, even like this D Dennis Gross one, they're sending a really nice size of Josie Marin. Uh, this kind of stuff right here I feel should be like free with purchase, not something you're paying for. You know what I mean? Like maybe they had the whole bag done and then they're like, ah, throw a couple sample sizes in there. So they threw this one in there. Oh my goodness, it like poured out really thin. Oh, this is another mineral one. This one, oh my goodness. Okay, this feels exactly like the Josie Marin one, like super, super thin. Like it feels like it's, in essence, really, really thin. It does have a little bit of a color to it. I thought it was a pigment, but it might have just been like, I don't know, the color of the sunscreen. This feels exactly like the Josie Marin one, like super thin, super essence-y, very skin care kind of like, if that makes any sense. I do see a little bit of a sheer white to it, but nothing crazy. Like I would hardly even call it a white cast, at least on my skin tone. Okay, that's a top contender right there too. Next up is the Tiger Grass Color Correcting Treatment from Dr. Jart, the Sika Pear uh, SPF 30 sunscreen. So this is something that I had before. I don't remember if it also had SPF, but I remember getting a Sika Pear thing like this. And I didn't really have a use for it. I didn't know how to use it. And I think I gave it away. Oh my gosh. Those two feel so good. I can't get over it. Um, and I always regretted it because later on I was like, I want to try some green color correctors. And I went looking for this. Nowhere to be found. So I'm so happy to have another one. This is a 10 milliliter, uh, 0.33 fluid ounces. This is a mineral sunscreen, but it's a color corrector. So it's green. And uh, this is a very generous size, especially if you only have a little bit of redness to correct on your skin. You don't really need like a huge um, tub of it. Oh, this has a very medicinal scent. Like I could smell it just by having it right here. It's green, but it's not like too green. Like, can you see how the color is? But I know it looks funny here, but on a red patch of skin, it'll act more like a color corrector. Oh my gosh, you know what? This is changing colors. Look at it now. I'm trying to cover up my cut so you don't see it. Look at that now there. It looks like my skin tone instead of green. Okay, top contender right there. That's another one I'm really excited to try. That is very cool. Interesting. I gotta try that on my face and see how it works. See if it works for my skin tone. That's very cool. Okay. Next up, they had to include some super goop, the very famous super goop. This is the Unseen Sunscreen SPF 40 uh, PA3 Pluses, water and sweat resistant. This is a chemical sunscreen. It's a, what size? 15 milliliters, so half an ounce. I'm not a huge fan of super goop sunscreens. Um, they make a ton of sunscreen products, but I have never found one that I actually wanted to buy or repurchase. I've always only tried little sample sizes. I did buy the full size of their hand cream and I didn't really like it. And this is one I really don't like. So it's clear. It's completely clear. I did a swatch right there. It feels like a silicone makeup primer. And I don't like it because I can't see it. And I know the goal is to not see the sunscreen, but I can't see where I've put it. And when you have a sunscreen that's white, you can see where you've spread it and where you haven't. And I feel like I'm not using enough or I'm not like, I don't know, I just don't trust it for some reason. I just don't feel like I'm using enough and I can't see where I've put it and where I haven't. I don't know what, I, it's just one of those weird things. So maybe I'll use this on my hands and just kind of use it up as a hand sunscreen, but I, I don't know what it is about this clear one. I just don't love it, and I don't like the texture at all. So, not my favorite, but I knew they had to throw in a, a uh, what is it called? Super Goop. Uh, this is one of my absolute all-time favorite sunscreens. It's from Innisfree. It's a daily UV sunscreen, SPF 36. This is a chemical sunscreen, and this one here is 10 milliliters, 
0.33 fluid ounces. I did use up a full size one of these just recently. Um, I also used a mini of this and now I have another mini. I love this. If they're, obviously I gotta try all of these on my face, but this is one of my absolute favorite daily wear sunscreens. It's super uh, lightweight on the skin. You're not gonna feel like you're wearing sunscreen. Where can I put it? You're not gonna feel like you're wearing sunscreen. Uh, blends into the skin really nicely, doesn't interfere with your other products. It's just great. It's a great product and I think it's a really reasonably priced one, especially for being sold at Sephora and for the brand. I think it's really lovely. It does have a scent, not like sunscreen, but like a fresh, like a just a fake fruity fresh scent. I don't know. It's nothing too crazy, not perfumey. It doesn't bother me or give me a headache at all. It just feels like a really nice lightweight moisturizer that happens to be SPF 36. I love this. It's one of my absolute favorites and I was glad they included it in here so more people can discover it. Uh, this is one I was really excited to try, so I'm glad it's in here, but again, it's like a tiny little tube, but also the Innisfree was a little tube, but I guess they can't, for $39, give you all sizes like this, because then the bag would be like $70, you know what I mean? So there were going to have to be some tiny ones in here, I guess. This is from Glow Recipe. It's the Watermelon Glow Niacinamide SPF 50 Sunscreen. It's got niacinamide, aloe, and hyaluronic acid. This is a chemical sunscreen. And I did hear a few people using this and talking about how it pills. Um, I Pilling absolutely drives me crazy. I tried the e.l.f. like glowy sunscreen they just came out with and it pills like nobody's business. I returned it. I was so angry with that product. But I've heard this, this pills as well. At least under makeup. I don't know. Ooh. Smells good. None of these have smelled like sunscreen yet, which is kind of nice. It feels super duper thin. Really nice. I I don't think Glow Recipe is a Korean brand, is it? No, made in the USA. It's like a Korean inspired brand, I think. I'm not sure. I saw them on Shark Tank though. Anyway, this feels really good, but also I have like so many layers on this hand, so I don't feel like I'm getting like an accurate representation of this one, but it felt very, very lightweight, very thin and like essence-y. This is another one I'm really excited to try on my face. Okay, and now for the two full sizes. These are the two last ones in here. You get the Mineral Sunscreen Zinc Oxide SPF 30 from First Aid Beauty. And let me look up how much this one retails for, because I'm going to assume it's also like $30. Oh, $28. That's, okay. I guess $28 is a lot to spend on a sunscreen, but I feel like it's not that bad. I don't know. But not bad, I guess. I thought it was going to be a lot more. Anyway, it's 1.7 ounces. Let's check this out. I feel like I tried a sunscreen from First Aid Beauty before, like a tinted one or something. I don't know why, something's standing out in my mind. This isn't a little like pump thing like this, which is kind of nice. No sunscreen scent again, which is lovely. It's one of those mineral sunscreens. This kind of reminds me of the one from Native and I really didn't like that one. That kind of sits on top of your skin. I'm sure you can kind of see. Like it looks like it's never gonna blend in like it's just sitting and moving around, but then suddenly it disappears. Suddenly it sinks into your skin. Oh yeah, just did. So it's a weird texture and it's gonna feel like it's not blending into your skin and then suddenly it blends in nicely. I, I don't know. I don't know if I see a, a white, like sheer white cast a little bit here, but I'll have to try it on my face, of course, to get an accurate, you know, an accurate take on that because I have a lot of sunscreen on my arm right now. But it feels good. Feels nice. I'm excited. I'm excited to use it. And then the one I was most looking forward to trying is the one from Kiehl's, the Ultra Facial Cream SPF 30. So I love the Ultra Facial Cream from Kiehl's. It's one of my favorite, favorite moisturizers I've ever tried. And they have a sunscreen version and this was on my loves list. So I was so excited that this was the uh, one of the full sizes. I'm hoping it's the same texture as the Ultra Facial Cream. It doesn't have a scent. Of course, I'll have to try this on my face to see if it's similar to the actual moisturizer. I didn't see what kind it is. It is a chemical sunscreen. Feels really good, feels moisturizing. Has a scent, but I, it's not sunscreen. It's just like, it smells maybe just like the ingredients. Nothing crazy, nothing floral or fruity or anything. No perfume, just a scent. I don't know what it is. 
feels good, looks good, no white cast, excited to use it. So that is it. Oh my gosh, this video took 27 minutes. I thought I was gonna fly through this because it was only sunscreens, but there was a lot in here. So for 39 bucks, I think this is a wonderful, wonderful deal, especially with the two full sizes and the very, I think, generous sizes that they went with this year. Because like I said, in previous years, the bag was filled with stuff that was this big and they were charging the same price. So you got the Kiehl's one, full size, the First Aid Beauty full size, Josie Marin, you got a little glow recipe in here, Summer Fridays, Peter Thomas Ross, Murad, K-Skin, Innisfree, uh, Super Goop, Dr. Dennis Gross, Biosance, St. Jane, the Sika Pear from Dr. Jart, and the Supplement from Hum Nutrition. I think that's a heck of a deal. I'm super happy with this and I cannot wait to get to testing all of these on my face and report back at a later date. Most of these will probably end up in my empties or maybe I'll do a little roundup like midway through the summer on what sunscreens I'm really loving, but I'm super excited to try this. So that is it. Let me know if you get this. Are you one that gets it every single year? I would love to know because most of the time I always want to get it, but I know the samples are going to be this big. But this one, they kind of did it. They kind of did a great job with this one. And I just noticed it says each purchase supports the Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center. That's awesome. Anyway, that is it. Let me know your thoughts and opinions as always in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. And I will see you later in another video. Goodbye.